Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Next week marks two months since a tragic accident killed 10 year old Javier Sanchez. Nine on your sides, Corey Marshall sat down with Javier's father who says he wants to set the record straight. She's live in the newsroom with the latest. Corey. Valerie, just as you said, the story starts nearly two months ago at that deadly crash site at Campbell Avenue in Wyoming. Months later, Jimmy Sanchez, Javier's father, says that story is far from over. Just a few weeks since filing a wrongful death claim against Pima County, Jimmy Sanchez wants to get the story straight in more ways than one. I'm not doing this for money. That's for one. And whatever they state about money, that's not true. All I want is justice for my son. Justice for his son, 10-year-old Javier Sanchez, who police say was struck and killed by a Pima County Sheriff's deputy in a marked sheriff's vehicle back on July 15th. Now, nearly two months later, Jimmy says he has unanswered questions surrounding the deadly accident. Questions, he says, are the reason for the claim. I made it through another day. My kids made it through another day. It's, it's hard still. Just last week, Tucson police tell us the criminal investigation into Deputy Jesus Verdusco, the Pima County deputy they say was behind the wheel at the time of the crash, is ongoing. Meantime, officials with the PCSD say they're in the early stages of an internal investigation, waiting on Tucson police reports. Keep on fighting for my son. The grieving father says by keeping the memory of his son alive, he hopes witnesses, even many months later, will come forward. If there's anybody out there who really seen the accident, who really saw anything, you know, they need to step up. So you're asking for witnesses that yeah. maybe were frightened or saw something. Who saw something about the accident or or anything. I need somebody who actually saw something and to step up and and tell the truth. Now Jimmy says in regards to the wrongful death claim, it's in his attorney's hands. He says despite rumors, he never stipulated an amount, an amount that is. In the newsroom, Corey Marshall, K Gun 9 on your side. All right, thank you, Corey.